What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, former Balco founder who now has snack program, none other than Victor Conte, he is accusing, allegedly, undefeated unified WBC IBF welterweight world champion superstar Bassa who is widely considered by many to be top three best pound for pound fighters in the world and Earl the Truth Spence Jr. 27 wins, no loss and no draw. 21 big wins by way of knockout. 32 years of age, five foot nine and a half for the 72 inch arm reach. And his upcoming opponent in a massive unification showdown in WBA, World Boxing Association, welterweight world champion, uh, superstar Cuban boxer, Yodanis Ugas who is 27 wins, four losses, no draws, 12 wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 69 inch arm reach. They're scheduled to face off against one another April 16th, Arlington, Texas, AT&T, Dallas Cowboys Stadium, better known as Jerry World. With that said, Victor Conte is stating that Yodanis Ugas and Errol Spence are secretly not enrolling in VADA testing and the world needs to know why. This needs to be revealed to the world, as Victor Conte put it. And he says, please inform the world why you haven't uh, revealed and why these fighters aren't enrolled in VADA testing and how come we haven't seen any results of VADA testing. And the fight is almost near. The fight takes place April 16th. Today is uh, now March 22nd. And so he's stating that, uh, you know, there needs to be, you know, uh, some proof that these fighters are clean fighters going into this April 16th unification showdown. Uh, Victor Conte, he states that, you know, we know that the WBC claims to have the clean uh, uh, VADA programming. And he states that, you know, uh, if this is the case, how come we have not got have been privy to any information regarding this fight? OK. Uh, and so with that said. Uh, Victor Conte, he's stating that, you know, uh, is very, very uh, um, uh, telling, you know. Uh, so here's what Victor Conte had to say. He said, uh, quote, Boston uh, subscribers are afraid to ask promoters about drug testing. Uh, should the boxing world not know if Spence and Ugas are being tested? Uh, Mimo uh, is highly suspicious with Ugas. Wow. Right. So he's saying that allegedly that there's, uh, you know, there's some suspicion uh, with your Danis Ugas, okay? Uh, he had this to say, uh, you know, um, and he also states that, you know, the world needs to be privy of the information that's put out there or not put out there, okay? Uh, and, uh, you know, this is, this is very, you know, uh, telling, you know, Victor Conte, he's always very, very, you know, uh, um, since the time he's been, you know, revealed uh, what took place with him and, um, uh, uh, you know, the sport of baseball and, you know, Balco and things of that nature. And uh, so Victor Conte, he's not holding any punches back. So he's stating that, you know, uh, there's suspicion, you know, uh, Mimo uh, Guru Kusi is highly suspicious with your Danis Ugas, okay? And he's wondering how come Errol Spence is not being tested either, okay? Uh, and like I said, you know, he also stated that, you know, um, it should be revealed uh, uh, what's going on uh, when these guys are being tested. Uh, and, um, you know, it shouldn't be kept a secret. And if the WBC, World Boxing Council, and President Mauricio Suleiman, board of 32 members, are, you know, um, bragging about their sanctioned body being a clean boxing program, well, there needs to be information revealed as to what's taking place between Errol Spence and your Danis Ugas, okay? Um, this is the first time I've heard anybody say that they were suspicious of uh, your Danis Ugas um, when, they, when it comes to any alleged performance enhancers. Uh, and uh, obviously, in the past, there's been, you know, um, uh, many people that were questioning Errol Spence's uh, power, his strength. You even had at one point in time, people were, you know, horning in, hon horning in on Errol Spence's chest and saying, look at his chest. And, you know, this is the result of, you know, uh, allegedly taking, you know, in indulging in performance enhancers. Okay. So uh, this is 
this is not something new when it comes to Errol Spence, um, but it's new to me as far as uh, people claiming that, you know, this is the case when it, it comes to your Danis Ugas, okay? And uh, he's stating that, you know, um, such a short period of time out from this fight, we're just a little over three weeks uh, from this fight taking place. And he's stating that, you know, um, it's amazing that we haven't heard about not one testing, okay? Uh, he also was very, very uh, concerned when it came to legendary eight division world champion, iconic Filipino superstar boxer, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Uh, he's also uh, was concerned with when it came to Keith Thurman and Manny Pacquiao's fight. And he wondered why uh, Keith Thurman, you know, uh, wasn't enrolled in a clean boxing program. You know, so this is not, you know, uh, the first time we've heard, you know, uh, Victor Conte, you know, express, you know, uh, his concerns with the sport of boxing and, you know, uh, fighters not being tested and, you know, uh, they're not being, you know, uh, um, stringent testing. You know, he's the founder of Balco Laboratories. He's also the CEO of SNAC uh, program. Uh, SNAC uh, stands for uh, System Inc. and Create of, of uh and creator, okay, so SNAC, S-N-A-C, System Inc. and creator of ZMA, uh, ZMA, ZMA5, and other uh, sports nutrition products. Obviously, again, we know that uh, uh, Victor Conte has been, you know, uh, um, involved in the situation with Balco and uh, the entire situation. His biggest uh, client, uh, who was never truly proven uh, any uh, wrongdoing was was a uh, legendary Major League Baseball player, Hall of Famer, should be Hall of Famer, and Barry Bonds. Uh, we know Mark McGuire, uh, you know, many other um, big names, you know, in Major League Baseball uh, were proven to, you know, um, have this situation uh, uh, arise, right? Uh, um, and here's another thing Victor Conte had to say regarding your Dana Sugis, allegedly. He says, Ugas works with a world-renowned uh, PED supplier, Mimo, of positive drugs, allegedly. This is what he said. Uh, so this is what Victor Conte is saying. He's claiming that, you know, uh, Errol Spence, you know, uh, should have some suspicion. And uh, um, if Errol Spence doesn't have any suspicion, then maybe people should be suspicious of what Errol Spence is doing, okay? Uh, and obviously, uh, when you're dealing with somebody of Victor Conte's uh, status, uh, and somebody with Victor Conte's knowledge of what takes place uh, when you're dealing with performance enhancers, um, obviously, you know, he would be, if anybody would know, uh, it would be Victor Conte, right? So um, this is not the first time, you know, he's raised, uh, uh, you know, an eyebrow to um, some of the fighters in the sport of boxing not testing, okay? Um, but Errol Spence has been enrolled in the WBC World Boxing Council uh, um clean program, you know, uh, and he's never, you know, tested for any banned substance, okay? Um, and he's been with the WBC since uh, 2019. So he's been in the WBC's clean boxing program for three years. Uh, your Dana Sugis, he might have been in there for a short period of time because he faced off against Sean Porter. So I'm sure that he had to do some testing then. But according to Victor Conte, there's no testing going on currently as it stands for this fight. And there's an eyebrow, a eyebrow should be raised because he's stating that your Danish Ugas is with a guy who allegedly uh, is known for masking uh, tests, okay? And so he's saying that, you know, there should be information privy to the boxing fans and to the public, okay? Uh, and I believe the sport of boxing myself is dangerous enough Okay, it's risky enough. You're risking it all every time you step through those ropes. Uh, and there should be no un unfair advantages on any side, okay? Uh, point blank and period. Regardless of, you know, if you knew it got into your system or didn't know it got into your system. I think that all the sanctioned bodies, the WBA, the, w the IBF, the WBO, the Ring Magazine, every sanctioned body that's out there should be enrolled in a 365-day clean program okay not one should slip through the cracks they all should be enrolled in 365 days a year okay a clean boxing program where all athletes okay 
Uh, once you get in the top 10, top 15, each ranking system, you have to be enrolled uh, 365 days a year, okay? Point blank and period. So uh, he's raising an eyebrow to your Dana Sugis in this situation. And he's uh, said that, you know, there should be, you know, um, some um, uh, acknowledgement of what's taking place. Okay, and there should be awareness that was taking place with this fight. And, uh, you know, he wants to bring awareness to it. And he said that the fans and the boxing public should know what's going on. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.